Last week, I talked about everything healing related. And there, I also said some things about the skill cooldown reduction that the ammo cache support station and uh, the recharger mod on the smart cover provides. I mentioned there that they would cut off 30 and 15% of your cooldowns respectively. And although this information isn't wrong, I want you to forget what I said there anyway. Why? Well, because even though those numbers may have been true for my character at that time, um, they may not be true for your character. Skill cooldown reduction works in a very complicated way and the game uses a lot of values hidden away from the player to determine what the cooldown of your skills are going to be. But I think that after doing a lot of research, I've kind of managed to crack the code and using the information that I've learned, I was able to do all sorts of crazy things that I didn't think were possible. One of those is for example keeping an almost 100% uptime on my signature scale. To the point where the cooldown was so fast that the ability was ready again before it had ended. Kind of like how it worked with the Midas before that got nerfed. Only this time we're not using any weapon or gear talents to achieve it, we're using some hidden away game mechanics. Another thing is that I was able to break the hard caps on the skills and I get some of those cooldowns down to something as short as seven and a half seconds. And in this video, I will be explaining to you how it all works. So um, what do you say? Let's begin. Each skill has a lot of base statistics that determine how powerful the skill is going to be when a player has zero skill power. These values can be seen when looking at the skill screen. There's always a base and a total amount. As I said, the base is what you have when you have zero skill power and the total amount is what you currently have. Now, if you visited this screen just a few times, you obviously would have noticed how the cooldowns on these skills can also be reduced through skill power. Um, at level 30, the very minimum amount of skill power that somebody can have is 5,350 skill power. 5,350 skill power does absolutely nothing for you and your cooldowns will be at their very, very minimum. Starting from this number, 5,350, you can start to add more skill power to your character to decrease the cooldowns. Um, the pulse, for example, starts off at 55.5 seconds, but for every thousand skill power that you add to your character, around 0.83 seconds will be taken off the cooldown. Now, of course, this doesn't go on forever. Every skill has a cap on the duration. And for the pulse, that cap is 20 seconds, which will be achieved once you hit a total skill power of 47,927. Now, this cooldown scaling per 1,000 skill power is different for every skill. And most of the time, it is also different for every mod. To calculate these, however, I created my own formula based on the results that I got from researching these skills. And this is how you use it. First, you're going to want to note down your current skill power in the top right corner of your skills menu. Then you subtract the 5350, which again is the very base value at level 30. And subtracting that will give you a number and we will call this number true skill power. Step two is to look at the bottom of the screen, at uh, the total skill cooldown, and then subtract that amount from the base skill cooldown to see how much seconds the true skill power has taken off the base cooldown. We will call this value subtracted seconds. I know, original, right? Then, to figure out the cooldown scaling per 1000 skill power, you want to take the subtracted seconds and divide that by the true skill power divided by 1000, which will leave you with how much seconds are taken off the cooldown for every 1000 skill power that you add to your character. Now I know that this might all be a little bit confusing to some people, and I don't really want to talk about numbers too much, so for those interested, I'm leaving two spreadsheets in the description. The first one is a list of all the skills, the skill mods, and their scaling factors, their caps, and you know, how they are calculated. You have all the results right there. And the second one is a, a spreadsheet that I used to automate the calculations myself. So if you don't trust my results or think that I may have made a mistake somewhere, you can use this formula to calculate them yourself. Now, two things to note about this formula. Uh, first thing is, is that it only works if you have a level 30 character. So, you know, don't try this with a level 15 character. The reason for that is, is because the starting value for the cooldowns are different on each level. And the second thing I want to tell you is that this formula is only accurate up until two decimals. Uh, the reason for that is, is that it's not the official formula that the game uses. I don't know what that is. Um, I made this myself and it does give you good enough results for some accurate calculations. But anyway, let's move on because we aren't done yet with uh, the cooldowns. Because after the raw skill power, there's also another way to decrease the cooldowns on your skills. And that is through skill haste. 
Now, skill haste is a character stat that you might have seen in a few different places. You get 20% extra skill haste with the tactician's authority set. And uh, the ammo cache support station provides 50% skill haste for anyone in the area. And there are also, you know, backpacks and holsters and gear mods that can roll the stat skill haste. So, um, how does it work? Well, um, the more skill haste you have, the shorter your cooldowns will be on your skills. But to know just how much they reduce your cooldowns exactly, we're going to have to take a look at this craft that I made, because the whole thing is quite complicated. At 0% skill haste, your cooldowns are reduced by 0%, which is, you know, obvious. But then, at 100% skill haste, your cooldowns are reduced by 50%. Now this seems simple enough, right? Because you would think that you can just draw a straight line from a 0 to 100 and then go from there. However, the scaling that the skill haste provides is not linear. After doing a lot, and <laughs> I mean a lot of testing, it seems that there is quite a big amount of curvature in the way that they scale up. For example, 50% skill haste, which you would expect to reduce your cooldowns by 25%, actually reduces skill cooldowns by 33%, making it... Uh, a bit better than you would expect when reading it off the tooltips, right? And it's the same for a lot of these other values. It created this curve. And you could say that this doesn't make any sense, but if you think about it, it makes perfect sense. Because if the formula used for skill haste would be linear, that would mean that at 200% skill haste, your skill cooldowns would be 0 seconds. Meaning that you can, for example, spam your self heal endlessly, making you unkillable. And with the formula that the game uses for skill haste, this can never happen. What I use to calculate it, and this is again based on a lot of results, but it works like this. Basically, you take the total cooldown that you can currently see in your skills menu for the skill. Then you divide that number by 1 plus the percentage amount of the skill haste that you can see in your character tab. So, for example, the cooldown of my first 8 is 20 seconds here, and I have a 50% skill haste. That is 20 divided by 1 plus 50%, which is essentially the same as 1.5, since we're taking the 50% of the 1, which will give me 13.3 as an answer, and that is exactly how many seconds my cooldown is, with 20 seconds on the first 8 and 50% skill haste. For those that will say that the cooldown is kept at 20 seconds, yes, you are completely right, However, skill haste is calculated after the skill power cooldown cap. So even though it doesn't show up in your menu, with 100% skill haste, your cooldowns can be as short as 10 seconds or 7.5 seconds for the mobile cover and the ballistic shield. Now, this skill haste formula also tells us two things about uh, the skill cooldown reductions. One is that players would, in theory, never be able to get a 0 second cooldown, but they can keep getting closer and closer and closer with enough skill haste. Unfortunately, this only works in theory, because in reality, even though the menu tells you that you can go over 100% skill haste, the game hard caps it off at 100% skill haste, so don't waste your effort. Second up, this formula also means that the first couple of skill haste percentages give you a lot more value than you would think. For example, going from 0% skill haste to 10% skill haste gives you a 9.1 skill cooldown reduction. But going from 80% skill haste to 90% skill haste, that only adds about 3% skill cooldown reduction. So there is a point in this curve where it is not worth it to add any more skill haste. And that point is right in the middle, 50%. So, for all you guys that aren't mad geeks and just want to know a simple answer, is it worth ever specking your character into skill haste? The simple answer is no. If you want to build your character to have more utility and, you know, have lower skill cooldowns, you should be specking towards increasing your support station range. That is a skill attribute that can be found only on performance mods. Why? Well, the reason for that is because the ammo cache in itself, you know, it gives everyone heals in the area, infinite ammo, 30% signature skill resource gain, which we'll get into in just a second. But above all, it gives everybody in the area 50% skill haste, which is the exact threshold of where you want the skill haste to be. Now, the one major drawback is, is that the range on the support station starts off at 8 meters, which is not too bad, but this value can be increased up to 15 meters, giving you a very, very large area of effect, big enough for it to even be a solid option in PvP. Anyway, moving on to signature skills. 
Signature skills work the same way as normal skills when it comes down to cooldown reduction per 1000 skill power. They all start off at 833 seconds and you shave off around 12 and a half seconds for every 1000 skill power that you add. They cap out at 360 seconds, which the players will meet when they have 43,134 skill power. And this is the exact same for every signature skill. Where the difference with the signature skills is though, is when you are comparing the skill haste to the resource gain. For those that don't know yet, skill haste does not affect your signature skills, but instead they have something similar called resource gain. You see, the way that the signature skills work is that you shave off a certain percentage of your timer every time that you get a kill. You can see the bar going up every time that I kill an NPC. The exact percentage that you get is something that I simply cannot tell you. I've tried calculating it by activating my survivor link and killing mobs until it was back up. Then I went on to check how much time I spent on, you know, getting it back and the amount of kills I made. In this case, it took me 197 seconds and 20 kills. Now, because the original cooldown was 595 seconds, uh, that meant that the 20 kills made up for 398 seconds. And since 398 seconds is 67% of the 595 seconds, that meant that I had to divide the 67% by 20 kills, which gives us 3.35% increase per kill. And now you might say, hey, we have an answer. However, doing the exact same thing a second time doesn't give me the same result. I've tried looking at what the variables could be, but even when I had the same amount of skill power or only killed them in one specific way or only used headshots or explosives or only killed them from in and out of cover and so on and on and on, I would never, never, never get the same result twice. So for now, uh, let's just say that on average you get about 3.5% of your cooldown back per kill. The only things that I can say for sure is that it also works on other players, but you actually have to kill them and not just down them. And second up, for some reason, you also get a little bit back when using a medkit. So, um, you know, that's that. Now, what I can tell you is what resource gain does. And that is, is that it increases the amount that you get per kill. Again, I wouldn't be able to tell you if the calculations for these percentages are linear or something with a curve like skill haste. But looking at the average that I got when uh, running with 30% uh, resource gain, uh, you know, the result was about 4.5%. So it seems to be linear, but that's again, not official. So just to answer the simple question again, is it worth ever specking yourself into resource gain? And I think that that answer is really going to depend on the player. Because you could argue that just like skill haste, resource gain can be found back in the ammo cache and in the healing mod for the smart cover. So it isn't worth building your character around it. And while I'd have to say that you are definitely right there, I do think there is a place where resource gain on your own character might come in handy. Firstly, as I said, I believe that the scaling for the resource gain is linear. And with that in mind, I was able to push my resource gain to 80 plus percent. And with this, I was able to keep a close to 100% uptime on my tactical link. For example, here, I use it four times in the three minutes that I have to wait for the JTF soldier to disarm the bomb. So that means that I have it back every 40 to 50 seconds. And then for the players that like to play in the dark zone, you can use your signature skill, clear one set of mobs, and then already have it back. Now, the main drawback with resource gain is, is that you have to get the killing blows for it to take effect. So it doesn't count if your squad mates gets the kill and, you know, leaving enemies alive on purpose for the guy who has specced into resource gain to finish them off is a serious slowdown, no matter how coordinated your team is. So where I think it's most useful is if you're not playing in a team and if you're not using the support station or the smart cover, AKA if you are a solo player. Now, one last thing I want to mention before I'm letting you all go is that the talents on weapons that increase your signature skill resource gain, like for example, this one, they do stack with the resource gain increase. I had just 30% resource gain on my character and with my AUG that has skilled, I was able to get my ulti back up in just four headshot kills. And I guess that was pretty much all for today. Again, a pretty lengthy video. <laughs> you know, I keep thinking to myself that these videos will not take that much time and such a topic, you know, I can maybe do that in two days. And then halfway through, I realized that there is so much more to it that the developers aren't telling us. I mean, I really wish that they just made all this information public so I wouldn't have to figure it out myself. Would be a lot easier to see what's good and what's not. Um, but anyway, I really hope you enjoyed this video. I really hope you picked up on a few things. And as always, I will see you guys later. Or like they say, in the Netherlands. See you later.